social media in your relationship? That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Relationship Thursday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author, podcaster, and your Uplifting Life partner. Now, this conversation came into being. Uh, my cousin actually sent me a, uh, a link on Facebook where the conversation was around a young lady commenting about the fact that her boyfriend follows um, reality TV stars and he d he basically uh, DMs them, follows them, likes their stuff, do all that kind of stuff. And the question is, is she wrong for feeling the way that she does because she doesn't want him doing that? And of course, you had a lot of feedback and um, especially from a, a lot of young ladies, very upset, frustrated, disappointed at the relationship guru's conversation that he gave his personal perspectives on it. And um, and I'm going to give mine. And basically, OK, let's get into it. My thing is, you guys hear me talk about it all the time. You take people as they are or you don't get in a relationship with them. Do not make this more complicated than it needs to be. What am I saying? This young lady knows, pretty sure if he's a person that followed re reality TV stars, he didn't just start doing that when he started dating her. You guys follow me? So it's something that he's always, already has been doing. He's liking this stuff. Think about it. What are most people doing on social media? Liking everything that's on the page. That's so unless you get ready to tell your partner to get off of social media, chances are pretty good they're going through. What are you gonna tell them now? I know you used to like stuff, you used to put hearts on things, you used to put the like button or whatever. You gotta cut all that out. You can still be on the internet and on social media, but you gotta cut all that. Then why are they on social media? Most people, that's all they do is they're going through, they're looking at comedies and watching different videos and they're liking videos or not liking videos and, or in this case, the reality stars or whatever. So the bottom line is she knew when she got in a relationship with this guy, this is what he does. If that is a red flag, we've talked about red flags, deal breakers. Things that are no-go for you. If that is a no-go for her, what should she be doing? Not date them. Don't make this complicated. Again, you get you get you run into problems when you get into a relationship and you're trying to change people. As I always say, if you're trying to change people, what you're telling them is I don't like who I see, so I want to create what I want. That's not your job. It's not your job. Because what happens when he turns around and says, I don't like the outfits that you wear, the clothes that you go out and put. You're in a relationship now. You used to dress very uh, provocative and, 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 you know, barely nothing on. But you could do that before you caught me. But now that you're in a relationship, you have to stop that. I bet you a lot of those young ladies that were having a problem with him on Facebook, you know, are going into these DMs or whatever. They're probably some of the young ladies that dress like that, but they would have a challenge if he all of a sudden told them that they had to dress differently because the fact is now they're in a relationship. You guys follow? The key is you got to look at the package. Do you like the package? If you don't like the package, then don't, don't buy it. Don't get involved with it. Let it go. You don't have to take every package. That's the challenge. Like I said on the application, you, 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 it's like a hiring application. You had them fill it out. You saw the red flags. You still hired them. Now you got to deal with the consequences. <laughs> Don't now all of a sudden go, because some of the young ladies were saying, because it's very, very disrespectful. Well, could be if he's trying to get in relationships with them. And then even that, I'm not saying it's a bad uh, uh, thing to do. If you guys have not had the monogamy conversation, think about it. Now, see, a lot of young ladies are going to be upset when I say this, but here's the key. If you haven't had the conversation with the gentleman 
or the lady, because you know everything I teach goes both ways. But if you have not had the conversation and said, it's you and me only. We're committed to each other. That's the relationship I'm in. I'm not into you dating other people. I'm not dating other people. It's just the two of us. If you haven't had that conversation, this is not an assuming conversation. This is not a, well, he knows. No, this is not a he knows. This is not a she knows. No, it's not. Because the first thing that part person is going to do if they ever get caught cheating or doing something wrong is they're going to tell you, we never said we were monogamous. And you didn't because you didn't have the conversation. And I know, again, some people don't like to hear when I say that. They're going, well, they know. Quit living in the they know uh, 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 thought process and have the conversation. The reason that people aren't having the conversation is because you don't want to hear the, the answer. You don't really want to know the answer, so you per prefer to stay away from the conversation and go, well, he knows or she knows. Have the conversation then to make sure he or she knows. Then if they go out and they're flirting and doing all that kind of stuff and hitting on other people, now you got something to have a conversation about because you guys have talked about this. There, I've actually seen couples where the guys, he, he flirts all the time or she flirt, very flirtatious. And that's okay in their relationship. That works. That's why I saw one young lady make the comment. She says, any self, um, what did she say? Any self-loving, I forgot the exact wording, but basically any woman that has any dignity would not allow that to happen. You can't say that just because it's very offensive to you. And the fact that you don't allow that, that's a red flag for you. You shouldn't be in a relationship with someone like that. But there are a lot of young ladies who are very, very confident in themselves, very, very confident in their partner, and, and know that they're just flirtatious, male and female again, that that's just who they are. But they're confident that that person is not going to step over the line. Because if you think, just because your partner is not DMing, your partner is not liking things on social media, it means they're committed. You're living in a naive world. A person that's going to cheat on you is a person that's going to cheat on you. Don't think social media is going to be the deciding factor on whether they cheat or not. This is about, as you guys hear me talk about it all the time, character and integrity. That's why I keep saying that's what you look for in people, not the external, not how much money they got, how much car, what car they drive, why not their credit score, all the things the world keeps telling you to look for. Quit looking for those things. Look for character and integrity and does it match what you're looking for. So if you don't like the fact that your partner is out flirting on the internet, you should have known that in the dating stage, and you probably did because he was flirting with you on the internet, then don't get in a relationship with him or let him know in advance, this is something I don't like. If he's not willing to change, you can't get mad at him because you know that's what he or she does. You just get to decide on whether you want to be in a relationship with them. You guys follow? And it's not to use it as a threat. Because if you use it as a threat, they'll just sneak and do things behind your back. So you want a person who's committed to you and where you're headed. That's why I said know where you're headed first and then find someone that goes along. There's uh, There was uh, an example that I was just thinking about that I wanted to share along these lines. Oh, it had to do with uh, when I was doing a ride share one time. I had a, uh, we were talking about something about like movie stars and you know, love scenes, and, and, and I instantly went in, and I'm like, yeah, because I know me, I could never date someone who's an actress, because when she got to do those bedroom scenes, or she's kissing another man, I ain't going for it, because if she's kissing him on the screen, she's kissing him, that's not fake, the world can call it fake if they want to, their lips are actually touching, I don't want another man's lips on my wife's lips, you guys follow? I don't want my wife even looking like she's in the bed with another. I don't even want to imagine that. I definitely don't want to see it on a screen. And, you know, so, but the, the funny part was, then, you know, I was asking them kind of how they felt about that. And the wife was an actress. <laughs> I was like, I guess you need to find that kind of stuff out before you start talking. But anyway, I just, all I can tell them, I said, you know what, man? I give you props. I mean, because honestly, I'm saying for me, I, that's nothing to get, because that's awesome that you can be in a relationship and you guys have that kind of relationship that that trust is there that you can look at it that way. I'm just saying for me personally, I'm just, 
I don't want to even imagine. Again, you guys have heard my story. That's what changed my life with my, my wife when she was my girlfriend. I had a dream that I caught her cheating. That's what made me become total loyal and I committed from that day forward. I'm not going to lose that woman to anyone and, and I became totally loyal and committed. But what I'm saying is, so that was just a story that popped in, a, a nightmare in my, I don't want to see it on a screen, even acting, because now it's, it's visual. Again, as you guys know, we've talked about this before. The brain does not try to interpret good, bad, right, wrong, real, fake. It doesn't try to interpret all that. That's what we do as human beings. So because it's not trying to interpret what's real and what's not, if you keep putting that vision in your mind, it will become a reality to you, whether the person's doing anything or not. That's why, again, I tell people, don't play the games in your relationship. Like, who was you with? Your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your woman? Was you out hanging out? Don't play those games. Get those games out of your relationship. Because the more you say those things and you talk those things, the more they start to play in your head and the more they become real to you and anything that your partner does, all of a sudden you start to link it together. That is she really out cheating? Is he really out having an affair? Is he? Don't play the games. So anyway, so along this with the social media, you have to decide up front how people are handling the social media. That's why, again, there are some couples... They don't even, they're not even on social media. I know a lot of people, especially, and it's, it's normally people that are a little bit older though, but they don't deal with social media at all for these exact reasons that what I'm talking about is because one, they don't want to put their business in the field. They don't want people looking to see who were they hanging out with or, or, or people assuming you sitting there hugging your brother and they think you with another man or you with your cousin you guys are dancing at the club. They're like, oh, she's cheating on her husband. Look at her husband. I don't see him in the picture. They don't even want to deal with all those different kind of drama, so they don't deal with social media at all. And that works for them. Some people have to do social media because, like in my case, this is what I'm doing for a living, is, is, is helping people to get their lives together, see the world differently, uh, at least give them some ideals. It's up to you how you decide to live but at least put some more, some ideals out there, some, some options. And um, so I put myself out there. So because of that, there are going to be things that are going to be tied to me where you're going to have people that are saying things on my, um, on my videos or saying things on my sites or saying, and as a partner in a relationship with someone like that, you got to understand the flirting and all the other stuff and, and some of the things you, you sitting there like, okay, she shouldn't or he shouldn't be putting those kind of things out there knowing this person's in a relationship. But folks, all that's, you're dealing with people. There are people that are messy. There's people that don't care if you're in a relationship. That's why I keep saying it's character and integrity. You got to know the person that you're with. And if the person that you're with, like me, for example, in that particular example that we're talking about with the social media, for me, if I liked people, like I don't deal with, with, with fake reality TV anyway, because that's all it is. It's fake TV anyway. But that stuff I don't deal with. But if I was a person that was kind of following all that, that, that kind of stuff, and if my partner had a challenge with that, for me, I'm a firm believer, pick your battles. Again, if it's not going against my character, my integrity, my beliefs, and it'll make you feel good, what's the problem? Pick your battles. And that holds true for her also, because understand, that means he's going to throw things at you that you don't agree with, that you may want to do, and are you willing to, as long as it's not against your character, your, your, your beliefs, are you willing to let those things go? It's a two-way street. Don't try to block him on social media, and then you're playing on social media yourself. So as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. So I think I finished that story on the on on the 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 the, uh, the stars, didn't I? 
the the, the actors. <laughs> I think it did. But anyway, but but that one was that one was funny because I just blurted it out and 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 then found out that she was an actress. But for me personally, again, I don't want that um, as an image. I want so I wouldn't get in a relationship with her. For him, that works. I hope I didn't mess them up because now he went home and started thinking about stuff. Because again, like we said before, the mind doesn't try to interpret good, bad, right, or wrong, fake, or all that kind of stuff. That's what stuff we do. But uh, that I didn't put some thoughts in his mind to mess them up. That wasn't my, my agenda. It's just for me personally, that's something to this day. I still personally can't do it. Now, again, along those lines, there, were act there are actors and actresses that I've seen that will not do love scenes because of their partner will not kiss another person because of their partner. They're going, I'm not going to get the germs. I'm not going to let you touch my lips and they'll put fill ins for those particular scenes or whatever you guys, I know if, if you want to research, you'll see it. There's it, some of the, 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 the most famous stars you'll see that has done that. And so you have to take that stuff into consideration. I even heard, uh, even, um, Denzel Washington, they were saying, uh, Denzel, when he was a lot younger, he did like a love scene uh, with a white woman. I don't remember what movie it was, but he got a lot of flack from black women because of that. And so he stopped doing love scenes with white women because he made a decision. He said, because black women are always uh, pretty much taking the back seat and, and, and um, basically the way they're portrayed in the media, they're not, they're not allowed to, they're not getting the best roles. They're not, um, Basically, he's just saying we have to learn to respect black women. And so for him, he took that as a personal thing and he decided from that point on he didn't do any scenes. I don't know if he's done any since, didn't research, but I know he said after that point he stopped doing uh, love scenes with white women. Again, that's not good, bad, right, or wrong. I'm just telling you guys, if you have a partner that understands where you're coming from, and that's why I said my objective is never to get in a relationship with someone like that, that's in acting. But if I had someone who loved and cared for me enough that those scenes they would keep away from, that they're not doing love scenes, sex scenes, and all that kind of stuff, then I could do it. If they're like a comedian or they do scenes where they, you know, they could be married in, in a movie as long as y'all ain't all hugged up and all that. And again, for me, I know that's putting restrictions on them as an actress, which is why I said I wouldn't want, because I don't want to put those restrictions on someone else when that's their craft. You guys follow me? I want them to be able to live their vision, which is acting, and not be limited because of what I personally don't want to see and don't want to be a part of. So again, those are just my, as you guys know, they right and wrong, just on my opinions, okay? So anyway, I hope that was real clear. That's why I wanted to go back on that real quick and tell you guys, that's just kind of where I stood on the acting. Um, and that's why I said, know your partner, know what they're about, character, integrity, everything and then go from there. But as you guys know, again, it ain't right and wrong. It's my opinion. For those of you that we talk on um, Self Love Monday, I look forward to talking to you on Monday. And then those, those of you on Self Love, uh, I mean, a Relationship Thursday, I'll talk to you on next Thursday. Run on over to Ron Simplified Myers. Uh, dot online again Ron simplified Myers dot online you see all the things that I got going on right now and as you guys know if you're not having fun you should be doing something else get the social media get that stuff taken care of in advance if that's a red flag or, or deal breakers for you don't cross the line as I said there are a reason that they're red flags and deal breakers all right talk to you guys later take care bye bye